Hey, what's going on guys? Chris here from DIYE65E66.com and today's video we're going to be replacing the pulleys as well. Um, I have a little bit of footage I'll show you here in just a second here um, and my pulleys are completely bad and we're actually going to change the tensioner as well and so I just bought the whole uh, uh, tensioner and uh, uh, pulley uh, for right here and then I also got the uh, the other pulley down there by the uh, right below the alternator not I mean this only took me about less than five minutes to get to this point here but if you want to know how to get to this section right here please watch my how to replace your crank case vent valves video I'll try to put up a little link right over here in this corner of the video click on that mobile users you'll have to look in the description box below crank case vent valves that will show you step by step how I got to this portion right here but this video is going to be about changing the uh, pulley and tensioner as well so let's go ahead and just uh, fire it up and get started here first thing we're going to do here is we're going to grab a T55 torque bit and uh, what I'm going to do here is how to take that off um, sorry for the angle here um, I can't really get any closer but right right where my finger is here there is a little star and that is a T55 on the tensioner here and so I have my breaker bar with my T55 and I'm gonna go ahead and insert it in there I'm gonna go ahead and crank it loosen the tension and remove the belt it's always a good idea to take a picture of how the belt is looped around the pulleys and tensioners so that you can put it on exactly the same so definitely do that alright guys I have my T55 inserted into the slot here and I'm gonna try to get this shot the best I can it's kinda hard when you don't have a uh, cameraman but so it's right below the belt is where I insert my star and you're actually gonna be pulling it righty tighty so you're gonna actually pull your breaker bar and it's a lot easier with a breaker bar guys just make sure that this doesn't slip out you don't want to snap your belt or anything like that so then you just crank it over to the right and see see that pulley right over there see how I'm pulling it to the right and it's loosening and then what you do is you just once it's loosened you can go ahead and just take it on off and so I'm gonna uh, let's see I think I might be able to do it while I'm filming here so let me crank it over to the right let me show you see there's where my thing is inserted there all right and definitely don't get your fingers caught so be careful guys and then loosen the belt on up and again be careful uh, with your fingers and whatnot. Okay. Let's see here. So once you're at this section, you can go ahead and be very careful. Again, guys, watch your fingers. Do not um, let that tensioner go and your finger be caught underneath here or whatnot. And then go ahead and once you're out of that main pulley right there, the water pump pulley, then you can let your tensioner down and then you just uh, very carefully remove your belt. Again, knowing exactly what direction it's going. Um, so definitely take a photograph and uh, know how to put it back on. Here's the tensioner again. Check this out. This one stops, but it actually, you can hear it rubbing on so that pulley looks like it's bad this one I believe is definitely bad this one out still going still going still going still going stopped I believe it's that one now look at my alternator beautiful beautiful rotation has a little bit of have a little bit of you know where you push it and it's not given on you like a, you know like a, just beautifully the bearing is beautiful in there looks good that thing is just flying. All right, guys, this is a good pulley. You see that? Look at that bearing. That is beautiful. You spin it, you spin it hard, and it stops like that. Instead of the other one where it just keeps spinning, keeps spinning, keeps spinning. So, again, guys, it's up to you whether you want to buy just the uh, pulley or if you buy want to buy the tensioner, too. Again, I have 133,000 miles on the car. I just went ahead and bought uh, both. Um, the package deal was a great deal. Again, look in the description box below for uh, that. Anyway, so, um, all right, guys. So grab your 16 millimeter, and right above the pulley, there is a bolt right in there. So here's the star where you put in your T55 right next to it to the left, 
is your 16 millimeter bolt. Grab your baker, uh, breaker bar, it's the easiest thing, and just of course to the left. And again guys, if I haven't already mentioned, this is the 2006 750i. Um, the guys with the 2002s through 2005s, your process is going to be probably exactly the same, maybe a tad bit different. Um, but again, this is for the N62 engine on the 2006 through 2008 750s. Um, so again, just uh, crank that over to the left. We're going to remove that bolt and pop out that, uh, that tensioner there. Again guys, bad one. Good one. All right, and the bolt just comes right out. And then again, that's the bolt right there. So keep your bolt, because you're gonna need your bolt. And that's the old one. And what we're gonna do now here is we're gonna go to the lower one and remove the lower one. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and remove the lower one down here, the lower one right below your alternator uh, uh, bearing wheel there, uh, right there where my finger is. We're gonna remove that one. And we got to remove the cap, and then it's, that one is going to be uh, a star. So uh, let me uh, tee a uh, bit, so let me tell you what that one is. All right, guys, and for this portion here, what we're going to do is we're just going to take our flathead screwdriver here, and we got to get in. Sorry if my hand blocks it, but we got to get in. We just got to pop off the edge of the cap here. Again, I can't really film this too well without uh, a filmer, but uh, we just got to get off that little plastic cap and if you need to know exactly what that is um, alrighty we got it off but it flew over so it's down by my lower hose there we go okay that's the cap there again just a flathead screwdriver pop that off right there now let's get a t-tool on that t-bit all right, guys, this size right here is a T50, a T50. And again, watch your, your lines that run down there um, by the uh, lower radiator there. T50, crank that to the left, and that will loosen up nicely here. Let's get that off. All right, guys, the pulley below the alternator is one piece. You get a new bolt, you get a new bearing and everything. All right, so watch this one. This one is just absolutely terrible even has a lot of play in there. Check that out. That's what's causing my problem right there. And that bearing is shot. Let me show you the new one. This one does have a little give to it right here, but... Well, maybe the other pulley was bad. Maybe this one is uh, okay. But anyway, that's brand new, so it does actually roll a little bit. So. I guess we're okay. All right, let's stick the uh, lower one back on in. And again, guys, you always want to hand thread it in because you do not want to strip that because that would cause a lot of problems. So I always hand thread it in before I crank her down. And just do it nice and German strength. You can get the correct torque uh, specifications but again it was on there really tight so I'm just gonna crank it down German strength you know give it a nice oomph but don't over tighten it you don't want to jack up that bearing so if you want to do the correct uh, torque look online but oh see now look at that spins see that so when it's tightened down look at how beautifully that spins so this this is a new one so again the old one both those pulleys were absolutely junk that was causing all my problems Okay, let's tighten that one down with my breaker bar. And guys, don't forget to put your new cap that came with this pulley back on. And it just snaps back into place. You guys heard it snap. But just go around the edges, make sure it's legit. All right, that pulley looks good. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we got our new bolt right in the center there where my thumb is. And we're going to put it back right back in there and again we're gonna hand thread it in a little tough with the camera right in front of me but we are gonna try our best here 
There we go. Okay, guys. So we're right in back in there with our tensioner. I'm going to hand thread this in there. The camera's in my way. I'm going to hand thread that in there, and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys. Now that our bolt is on there, we use our breaker bar and watch. Uh, make sure you don't um, tighten it too tight with your breaker bar, guys. Um, so if you want to do the torque specifications, you can as well. But just nice and German strength, the bolt right here. Now we need to remove that pin there so we can get some tension on there. So we're going to grab our T55 again here. So with this one, guys, you can actually maybe take this out before. So now I'm grabbing some tools. I'm putting some pressure on the right-hand side. I'm going to pull out the pin. And so if it comes out, it's going to, uh, I'm going to be holding it with my, there we go, like that. So I'm now I'm holding the pressure. I'm turning this to the right. I'm holding the pressure. I pulled out the pin. And now, there we go. Now the, the belt goes back just like that, the tensioner. Again, when it's cranked all the way to the right, the belt goes on. Now it goes left like this. So let's go ahead and put the belt on now. Okay, guys, as um, I've learned this uh, fixing, it's always good to retrace your steps. And look at the way my pulley is sitting right above this one here. This is how it's supposed to look after it's been tightening. So correction, um, I pulled my pin and the pulley was like way over here to the side. Well, the pulley needs to be right above this other one right here so it needs to be vertical now if you look in the back of it here right here you can see this little slot see that little black thing right there this little wedge wedge is right up against it there so that's when you know you're right on track and again hand thread it in and then use a breaker bar and crank it down German strength not too tight what we're gonna do here before we put our belt back on we're gonna Examine the, uh, the pulleys, make sure there's no grit and dust all over there. You want to make sure there's no debris in the grooves here, here, or on the pulleys as well. So grab a uh, computer um, air compressor, you know, little squirt thing for electronics. You can squirt off it or just put your mouth down there and blow really hard and get uh, any uh, dust out of those uh, pulley grooves so it doesn't uh, affect your belt. And with the belt, you can put the riding facing forward or backwards, whatever you prefer. It's a belt, it doesn't, uh, it's not meant to go on a certain direction. As long as the threading looks good, you can pick that way or that way, or whatever way you take off the old one, you can put it back on that way. If the riding on the other one was facing that way, it's up to you if you want to do that or not. And when I'm talking about riding, I'm talking about this stuff on top of the belt. And guys, same thing to put it back on. Wrap it around. So the easiest way to start, start up here at the top, put it on this one, and then you're going to come down here to the right. It's going to go around the alternator. And then the smooth side is going to go on the back side of this pulley. Let me get this out of the way here. And then it's going to go on the back side, the smooth side of the pulley. Then it's going to go down and around. And to get this part, you're going to have to crank it. You're going to have to crank it back, get the tension slacked on. And then it goes down and around, up through here on this one, groove side of course. And then it goes around this one with the smooth side and then around this one with the grooves and there you go guys so again in order to get it back on you're gonna have to uh, put tension on the tensioner release the tension put it back on and again guys always examine make sure the teeth of the belt are on it's evenly spaced around again look for debris blow it off if necessary alrighty looks good always double check your work pulley looks good alright guys now, I'm going to put all this back together here. Very simple, guys. Very quick. Um, probably if I wasn't filming, I could have done this whole project in probably 30 minutes, maybe 35 minutes. It's very quick. So anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to put all this back together. But again, watch my how to replace crank vent valves, crank case vent valves video for the putting all back together process. Taking apart, watch that video to get up to this point. And then again, putting it all back together, all the little wiring here that needs to kind of clip back into place, your sensor here, your air filter box there. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, but uh, just double check all your work. Don't rush it and double check all your work. Put everything back together. You don't want any sensors going off on you. And you guys have a wonderful day. Please thumb the video up so more people can uh, see this and uh, can help them out. And please come on over to DIY e65 e66.com come say hello drop me a line and my apologies guys i've been very busy with other projects so if you have left a comment 
and, or an answer to a question. Um, my apologies if I haven't gotten back to you yet. I'm going to try my best to get back to everyone. But for some reason, if I'm delayed, um, if the community that comments, if they could help us out, that'd be fantastic, guys. I appreciate you. Um, again, make sure you subscribe and check out the links below for these parts right here. You can purchase them. Check the links below. Thanks, guys. You guys have a good night.